Let's talk about nasal resonance today. Hi and welcome to today's video. My name is Freya Casey, if you don't know me yet, and I'm a vocal coach and professional singer from Germany. Nasal resonance has a bad connotation, although we actually definitely sometimes need it or couldn't actually sing without nasal sounds. Mm, mm, uh, mm. These are all nasal sounds very naturally. So depending on whether you are singing an open vowel or a nasal sound that is naturally just because in the language it is that way, it can only come through your nose, it makes a big difference. So let's talk about the nasal sounds. There's a big difference between making a nasal sound sound very closed and tight and tense or actually nice and resonant. Yes, you can make nasal sounds sound resonant. For example, look at an M, like mm. Of course, your lips are closed, which means the air that you exhale as you are singing that pitch or singing pitches can only come through your nose as you're exhaling. The air has to go somewhere, otherwise you can't make the vocal cords vibrate. There has to be air flow. So yeah, air can only come through your nose, but resonance can definitely take place either higher here in your nose or also a little bit in your mouth, depending on how you shape the inside of your mouth. When you lift the soft palate and really have a larger pharyngeal space, meaning you open up your throat and you also try to get things out of the way inside of your mouth by just pretending you're maybe you have a walnut in your mouth, the space is so much different than when your tongue is glued right to the roof of your mouth and also your soft palate is not lifted and your pharyngeal space is very, very small. And then it's the difference between and I actually almost hear my teeth vibrate because I'm just clenching together my teeth. Very different sound. Now, of course you can vary it. When you have an M, the sound can only go through your nose. When you have an N, your lips are still open. So part of the air goes through your nose and part of the air comes out of your mouth. So I left, I did put my tongue up right behind my teeth on my hard palate, but I kept my pharyngeal space and my soft palate lifted to where I actually have more space. And so there is a lot more resonance than when I'm closing that space. And then it actually sounds nasal. You can check where the air comes out and how much space you still have back here in your pharynx by pinching your nose. Let's go to the vowel. So the most open vowel, of course, is an ah. Since your mouth is all the way opened, there's not any tongue blocking. It shouldn't be. Most of the air comes through your mouth. However, if your soft palate is not lifted a lot and if your pharyngeal space back in your throat is very, very small, there is a lot more coming out your nose than when you're opening up those spaces a lot more. When you actually have a cold, the non-nasal sounds like the open vowels, if you avoid the nasality by opening more spaces, a open vowel should not change sound like The sound does not change because I am not letting anything through my nose, keeping that space so widely open in my throat, in my pharynx, and inside my mouth that really most of the resonance is not so much nasal, but it's more this way. However, now let me demonstrate what it sounds like when I add more nasal resonance, more air is directed through my nose and a little bit less through the mouth by closing those spaces a bit more. Don't lift the soft palate and just kind of keep the pharyngeal space smaller. It changes and it sounds very nasal, of course, when you pinch your nose because that nasal 
resonance here, air cannot travel through anymore. Sometimes we want more nasal sound on purpose. When I want more twang, more twang. When I want more twang, sometimes I want more twang. But in musical theater, or if I want to sing like a Disney princess, let it go, let it go. That's why I want more brighter overtones and not so brassy. That's why I need less nasality. So as you can see, if you know how to push the right buttons, you can adjust. You can be a little bit more nasal or not nasal at all. And there's a lot in between being all the way nasal and all the way non-nasal. I think the voice is really cool because you can create so many different colors. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you have not already for more videos on singing technique and mindset, of course. Join my Facebook group, Master Your Voice, to continue the conversation and check out my website for tons of free resources on masteryourvoice.tv. Have a most wonderful week. I hope to see you soon. Always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Bye. I must be strong to carry